All right, so today we've got an incredible lineup of the best deals across the PSN. We're going to be covering the US, Canada, UK, EU, and Australia from hidden indie gems to must have AAA titles. There is something here for everyone, in my opinion. So, yeah, let's dive right in. Like a Dragon Ishin kicks us off, and this one is a real treat for Yakuza fans. It takes us out of the usual setting it throws us back to the 1860s now this era is a rough one with inequality everywhere and you'll be stepping into the role of samurai sakamoto a man on a mission to find justice you'll also be tracking down your father's killer and cleaving your name of a framed murder now the story takes you on a journey through kyoto with a blend of sword play and revolver action that lets you bring tradition and firepower to the fight and the stakes, nothing less than ending the samurai era and shaping Japan's future. Now this one, it's 70% off, a new low price. And if you like the idea of a historical twist on the Yakuza formula, definitely one to grab. Gravity Rush Remastered is up next, currently 50% off and matching the low price. Though I will say here, it's also free on the PlayStation Plus catalog. I'd still say it's worth owning because it is a true classic. Now here you play as Cat, a girl with gravity defying powers. You'll be using her abilities to fly through the air, explore the floating city that you inhabit, and you'll uncover her forgotten past. Now the gameplay here focuses on manipulating gravity to walk on walls, glide through the city, and tackle enemies from all angles. It's a mechanic that still feels so unique and fresh this many years later. And this remaster then, it's of actually a PS Vita original, but we're packing, of course, enhanced graphics, motion controls, and also it includes extra missions, costumes, and challenges, making it that definitive version. I will say as well here, stunning visuals as well. A quick self plug then, if you are enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel a huge amount. It also helps me get more eyes on content just like this, as well as reviews. Next up is Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, an older title from 2017, but a hidden gem. Also, especially the case for fans of the series. Now, I actually reviewed this one ages ago, well before Switch Corner became, well, Switch Corner and all about Nintendo. But it is a solid pick for those who want a tactical space-based strategy experience. Now, here you're going to be thrown into the heart of the first Cylon War, commanding the colonial fleet from the mobile shipyard. You'll basically be out there to free the 12 colonies from the Cylon threat. You'll be managing fleets, designing powerful capital ships, and recruiting officers to protect the Alliance. The battles are strategic and definitely intense. It's full 3D with this pause able of real-time commands, basically you can stop and start. And yeah, you'll be watching the tactics unfold in these really stunning locations. But expect everything here from the Manticore Corvette to the iconic Jupiter-class Battlestar. There is no shortage of firepower at your command. Now it's 70% off, not quite the lowest price we've seen, but well worth picking up for strategy fans. Let's dive into Stray Delights and a unique action adventure that's now 55% off, a new low price, and it is a relatively recent release. It is a beautiful, dreamlike world of shadows and corruption, and you play as a newborn flame on a journey to restore your light. The gameplay is centered around restoring balance to the creatures and the beings you encounter, many of whom have gone rogue under the grip of specific emotions. Combat, though, is where Strayed Lights truly stands out. You'll find yourself shifting between blue and orange to match the colors of your enemies, deflecting their attacks, and then delivering over-the-top finishers that are really stunning, but also incredibly satisfying. It's a unique twist, basically, on action mechanics that ties perfectly into the game's themes of overcoming inner demons. For anyone looking for a fresh take on combat in a world that is just packed with atmosphere, it's definitely an indie pick worth checking out. Up next, to Steel Assault. This one is 60% off a new at low price. It's a retro-inspired, fast-paced 2D action platformer where you step into the boots of Taro Takahashi, a resistance soldier with a serious vendetta against a ruthless dictator. It's got that old-school feel of this one with a 16-bit post-apocalyptic aesthetic, but the pixel art is just packed with detail and the synth soundtrack is stunning. The gameplay then is kind of classic stage-based action, but with a unique twist, and that is your zip line. This adds a whole and new dimension to movement, letting you grapple across gaps, dodge enemies, and pull off some impressive acrobatics. It's fluid, challenging, it also just really taps into that kind of classic arcade experience. Honestly, the only thing missing here for me is co-op, but for retro fans, definitely worth checking out. Time for Fury Mador Edition now, which is 60% off, and yes, 
it was slightly cheaper, but that was all the way back in 2023. But it's been a while since I've spoke to it, and this one is worth every penny, especially with all the extra content in this version. Now, Fury itself is an intense boss rush game, and let me tell you here, not for the faint of heart, it is extremely challenging, but incredibly satisfying once you do get the hang of it. The gameplay though is a blend of rapid fire melee and ranged attacks, requiring you to dodge and parry in perfect rhythm to survive each unique boss encounter. This addition then also includes all of the extras, that's the Anamusha DLC which lets you play as a new character with a new fighting style, plus on top of that the One More Fight DLC which features the tough as nails bosses, the flame and a secret boss called Bernard. Alongside those you get additional modes like Invincible Mode and the Speedrun option for those wanting even more of a challenge. It's a fantastic deal for any action fans looking for a real test. A Morongi Generation Special Edition is here at 40% off and new at low price. This one is as unique as they come. It is a photography adventure that lets you explore a gritty world as a courier with a passion for capturing the reality around them. The game's vibe is striking, blending vibrant visuals with a surprisingly dark, almost dystopian atmosphere as you document life in a city on the brink. Now this special edition gives you access to the full game and all DLCs, but expect to be snapping photos for cash, completing photo bounties with full creative freedom, and unlocking camera gear along the journey. There's even a creative mode for fine-tuning shots and a speedrun mode if you are up for adding, I guess, an element of challenge. Also, there is a PSVR 2 version available as well, sold separately. It is going to cost you more, but I can only imagine it's a great way to experience a game. Now, sadly, I haven't been hands on with it, so I can't comment, but maybe worth a look. Happy Zumble Burger Farm is up next, offering a seriously creepy twist on the usual cooking sim. You're hired for the night shift, running the kitchen alone, flipping patties, frying up sides, serving customers at what is a strangely quiet edge of town restaurant. But do be warned, messing up an order too often could lead to a not so happy visit from, well, happy the title character. So keep those customers satisfied i promise you it is worth it but yeah this game basically if you haven't guessed isn't just about cooking there's an eerie story unfolding in new Horizon city and as you work you'll uncover secrets lurking beneath the surface you'll have full of restaurant management duties though an upgrade system chaotic customers and even an endless mode if you just want to cook it is also then packed with extras including 60 plus tv programs a jukebox with 14 albums and hours of talk radio if you love an unsettling vibe think of games like five nights at freddy's happy's humble at burger farm will pull you right in and it's 80 percent off matching the low price ruina is a brutal fast-paced action shooter set in a cyberpunk world 2091 now you play as a wired sociopath fighting against a corrupt system to rescue your kidnapped brother with a secretive hacker friend guiding you along the journey it is an adrenaline packed experience with intense tactical combat that lets you dominate the battlefield using a mix of high-tech gadgets and just powerful skills the game's arsenal though just full of cyberpunk inspired tools think energy shields kinetic barriers augmentations it keeps you moving fast it keeps you extremely deadly I just love all of the abilities, so you, you can dash, there's reflex boost, there's ghost breaks, you can turn your enemies' own forces against them, taking control of, you know, bots around them. Really impressive stuff. The story is good fun too, especially at this 90% off, which is matching the low price. This one actually came to mind this week as I stumbled on Slavic Punky, new game hitting PSN this week with some similar vibes. I'm going to actually be diving into that post-launch, so I will drop a video later in the week. Now, fingers crossed. The PS release is smooth on Steam. I'm seeing mention of bugs. But yeah, I'll get a review out once I get my hands on it. For now though, Ruiner is an absolute gem for any Cyberpunk fan. Kill Knight is here then, a new release with its first sale at 20% off. If you are up for a brutal challenge, this one's for you. Playing as the title Kill Knight, a resurrected warrior betrayed and cast into the abyss. Your mission is simple, but of course relentless. Kill the last angel. And just make no mistake here, this game is tough as nails. Reaching the final level is a challenge most won't conquer. But the satisfaction when you make progress is honestly next level. Now gameplay wise, it's a top down push forward combat experience. It rewards aggression and precision. You'll basically be fighting through five punishing layers, each more dangerous than the last. And the concept really is exploit enemy weaknesses, perform brutal executions and tactically manage the kind of resources you do have incredibly fluid stuff though again incredibly satisfying and all of the different weapons and the character setup 
I just loved all of the different options. And if you did manage to overcome the game as well, you would unlock an endless mode, which, yeah, I, I don't even have the confidence to try and face that one. But yeah, honestly, check this game out. It's incredibly unique and it's all topped off then with a killer soundtrack and the visuals. just kind of like neon soap, but still almost retro inspired. Yeah, it's a special game that deserves a lot of love. Lonely Mountains Downhill is next. It's hitting a new low price with 75% off, another indie gem in this week's lineup. It's perfect for anyone after an experience that's both challenging and, I guess, zen. You'll take on the quiet mountain lakes, dense forests and steep canyons, navigating them with a custom physics system that lets you drop from rock to rock, slide through mud or sprint over different gaps. Each trail though offers a choice. You can go for a kind of scenic ride or take risky shortcuts to find that fastest route. There's no crowd here or barrier tape, just you and raw natural landscape to explore. And I will admit at first it might feel a little awkward due to the perspective, but it offers two control schemes, so you kind of find your groove quickly. Once you do as well, it's surprisingly intuitive, letting you master every twist and turn. You can then along the journey unlock new bikes, paint jobs and outfits, plus you can compete with friends on the leaderboards. I think it's a steal at this price, and if you're a fan of speedrunning, definitely one to check out. Pepper Grinder is up next then, matching its lowest price with 34% off. This is actually one of my favorite indies released in 2024, and if you're in the mood for an action-packed adventure, this one delivers. You'll take on the role of Pepper, a treasure-seeking character armed with a grinder, a super-powered drill that lets you burrow through terrain, a swim through water, control machines, and, well, basically pulverize anything in your way. It's got everything you'd want in an adventure, precise controls, fluid movements, intense action, but yeah, you'll be spinning and sipping all over the place in what is a really beautiful animated landscape. Plus, as you progress, you'll unlock new drill bits to increase the chaos, so think different you know, actions. Also, you'll be using it for different puzzles, and you can even try and collect all of the treasure around you, but I promise you, they don't make that easy. For those of you, though, who want something a little bit different, I definitely suggest taking a look. So our final game is Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, back with 30% off. Now this is a new expanded edition that landed on other platforms and it basically offers two story paths. The new canon of Vengeance, which is a dark journey of revenge, and the original canon of creation, which is an epic clash between angels and demons over the fate of the world. Now the story itself kicks off in modern Tokyo, where a detour leaves our protagonist unconscious, awakening in a desolate demon infested wastelands a giant by a mysterious savior they unite form this powerful Nahobino and yeah with this newfound power basically you journey through this realm and it's filled with gods and demonic foes making choices in this game as well are very heavy they shape humanity's future the vengeance edition then is also packed with expanded areas a refined battle system new demons plus of course with the playstation build improved visuals that truly do well, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing in the trailer at least, make it look incredible. So if you're taking on the new path of revenge or the original struggle between order and chaos, this game is absolutely a masterpiece. It's perfect for both fans and newcomers alike. And that is the video down. Will you be picking up anything from this week's PSN sale? Let me know in the comments. Watch out for my second video as well coming right here in the next couple of days. And once again, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. It helps out the channel a huge amount. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks all.